Hello guys and welcome to Game Reward. So in this video I am going to show you how I use magic attack in one of my game which is called Nikita's Adventure Action Platformer. So before that please like share and subscribe and help me to reach 1k. So let's start with the video. Uh, as you can see in this scene I am uh, there's one character and one sprite called player with a cast position basically a position to denote uh, from where you can emit your magic attack or anything like bullet and there's one progress bar uh, and an animation player and animation tree but you will change these nodes according to your need as the project grows more complicated uh, you will add more nodes and add those nodes in more clean way basically uh, separate scene of ui those magic attacks and other things uh, this is just a basic simple scene so let's start with the animation player and there are four animation run jump and idle uh, uh, in those there are only uh, the frames that are changing but you might have to add more things like uh, audio and other stuff in your animation player node so the node that is important is animation tree uh, as you can see i have just connected all the nodes uh, to each other but at the cast node uh, when a player cast uh, the magic it will get played and at the end it won't change the animation till it ends the cast animation it won't change the node and you can uh, make that happen by choosing the switch mode to at end here and here so the animation will be played uh, and after the cast animation get played uh, it will change in the animation according to the script and there's nothing more uh, basically it's a state uh, machine so and how you add the state machine is like here tree root add animation node state machine and choose the animation player active and add the other stuff and it will change according to your game according to your need so this is not uh, something that's uh, just you're going to use uh, it's just a temporary a temporary setup just to see the character so now let's check the script which is main so in play script i am using direction and idle with int those are two variables and the other variables are on ready var anim basically animation tree node and i am getting the playbacks these nodes and other thing other variable is magic attack uh, scene i will show you that scene in a moment i am just preloading it so on ready uh, yeah there's one more script which is called global and inside global inside that there's one variable called mana and one signal which is update mana i usually put my global variable inside a script and i assign that it into singleton here auto load global singleton basically that script is global and you can use the variables and signal inside any script so i am using it inside the player script and i am connecting global signal of update mana to update mana function uh, you will use this in your ui scene or ui setup i am just using it here for my convenience so i am starting after that i am starting the animation with idle animation and i am setting the progress bar max value to global mana and progress bar value to global dot mana uh, basically i am setting the value to 100 
and at the fix process i am checking if the title is z not equal to zero play animation run else animation idle and this this is just a temporary state the quick uh, setup of a uh, state inside the input i am using input event key and if the input event is action pressed ui left change the animation to animation run or you can just remove it because you are always setting it up here idle animation dot uh, travel run and other thing i am setting is anime player scale basically if left is press the scale changes to minus one and the direction to minus one and the idle to one and inside if ui action pressed uh, if event action press ui right similarly here i am just changing the value to positive here scale plus one and action plus one and idle is just to get the animation played so if the event is released basically the key is released by using not not event is pressed uh, when the key is released uh, change the animation to idle and set the idle to zero this thing you can remove this to animation travel dot idle because it will be it will get updated over here it's just different way of doing the same thing and at the end i'm using input event mouse button so when i click the mouse button if event is ui fire basically left mouse mouse click i set up the custom event over here input event at the end ui fire device zero which is left button so when i press left button it check if the animation is cast or not if the animation is already cast it won't get played or it won't run down this function but if the animation is not cast if if there is other animation being played so the anim will travel to cast and the magic function magic attack function will run so magic attack inside magic attack function uh, there is a variable called magic attack one instance basically it's instancing this preload node uh, i have preloaded the magic one scene and i am instancing over here and then i am checking if the global mana is equal to or greater than the magic attack instance dot mana cost i will show you it's the mana cost uh, variable is inside the magic attack uh, scene i have set up over there so next i am changing the direction according to the direction over here of the magic attack scene of the magic attack uh, instance and then i am changing the global position of that instance to the player cast position by uh, using the position 2d dot global position with cast position over here and at the end i am just adding that node inside the viewport using add child get viewport dot add child that instance and at last this update mana function uh, which get runs when there is update mana signal it, it just changes the progress bar value to global mana value when the value get change uh, it will just show over here now to the magic uh, attack or magic scene or the magic uh, attack scene so i have just named it to the magic one it's a node simple to node 
inside that there is an area to denote with collision nothing fancy over here and uh, you can just change some values over here according to your need and uh, you can just turn off monitorable because there is no need or you can leave it as it is and after that i am using a sprite and a timer node and inside the timer node i have set it to the uh, the wait time to two second one shot and auto start equals to true basically as soon as this uh, node gets instance over your game scene uh, the timer will get start and as soon as uh, the timer uh, it times out uh, it will just uh, get removed the whole node will get removed the whole scene will get removed the whole scene will queue free and inside the animation player i have created a default animation and i am just changing the sprite texture to this like one to one to one to and i have pressed this auto start button auto play on load and this loop uh, basically as soon as this magic attack magic scene get loaded inside the game scene it will start running this animation and the animation will be in a loop you can add audio node and other stuff too here so inside the magic uh, one script there's uh, a variable called this direction speed variable and mana cost variable and inside the ready function i am just subtracting the global mana minus uh, the mana cost and basically as soon as this node get instanced over your game scene it will just subtract the mana cost from the global variable called mana 100 minus 95 and it will emit a signal called update mana and which will be used over here to update the progress bar value yeah it's a little bit confusing but it's a simple and good way to keep your global variables and signals over one place and you can just use those uh, anywhere at any script by using method like uh, this global dot mana global dot emit signal and then physics process function and inside that i am just changing the position of self uh, dot x basically the basically to the left or to the right uh, by using position dot x and plus equals the direction into speed into delta if direction is minus one it will go to the left and the if the direction is plus one it will go towards right uh, simple left or right and inside uh, this i have connected the area to the node node body entered and i am checking if the body is enemy uh, you can just do damage body dot damage function and do animation and basically get remove uh, do any funky animation or the blast animation and self dot q free at the end uh, you will do this uh, inside this uh, animation node because you want to q free at the end of the blast animation or the any any finishing animation uh, you can queue free inside the animation node by using add track you click to the add track and call method track and choose the parent node and then right click insert key type queue free and select that so and put that keyframe at the end so it will get queue free at the end of your finishing animation but here is no finishing animation so i am just queue freeing over here uh, and then at the timer timeout queue free uh, why i am queue freeing 
using timer because uh, if you use uh, this uh, basically if you keep clicking basically if you keep firing and there is no collision of to the enemy and if it's if it don't write to, uh, to the enemy it will just keep filling your game scene and that will make your game slow so you always want to keep your uh, notes minimum inside your game and that's why i'm using q3 using timer so at the end of two seconds it will remove itself and there will be no extra notes over your scene so let's see how it looks uh, inside the game so your progress bar is 100% left right and then click it will it's showing your current one which is 95 percent click 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 80 so let's just keep adding those magic attack yeah at zero there is no magic attack happening because there is no mana left so let's just short the timer by point something something just to visually see how it's uh, queuing over to the scene let's say 0.5 second let's just play and see the magic attack disappearing 0.5 yep so that's all for this video i hope you like this video please like share and subscribe and help me to reach 1k thank you